Recently, vector databases got a lot of fame, with companies raising hundreds of millions of dollars to build them and people calling it a new kind of database for the AI era. The vector databases are extremely fascinating and allow many great applications, especially when you want to give large language models like GPT-4 long-term memory. So let's start with the why. Over 80% of the data out there is unstructured, such as social media posts, images, videos or audio data. You cannot easily fit them into a relational database. I already mentioned that we can use vector databases to equip large large language models with long-term memory. This is, for example, what you can easily implement with LangChain. We can use it for semantic search when we need to search not for exact string matches, but rather based on the meaning or context of our question. We can also use it for similarity search for images, audio, or video data. And we can use a vector database as a ranking and recommendation engine. There are a number of vector databases available. For example, we have Pinecone, VV8, Chroma, Redis also has a vector database, Kudrand, Milvis, or Vespa AI. 